how many sister locks should I have? Since it is sister locks. Or how many sister locks should I get? And PR Charles, how many sister locks do you have? Okay, I'm going to answer these kind of backwards. How many sister locks I have? I have roughly, I tell people 400 locks. It's somewhere there between 4, 4, uh, 410, 412, somewhere there. When I first started my sister lock journey, I had less than 400 locks. It was 390 something. And what happened is that I had two consultants do my hair, two different separate consultants. The first one who did the front half, I, I, she was pregnant and I think she was having complications so she couldn't finish it. So she's referred me to somebody else and they did the back of my hair and um, they counted it. Then when I came back for retightening sessions, uh, they would split a couple of them that were done too large um, within the lock. I mean, within the grid they split a couple a few of them not a couple couple is two a few of them and then just recently last year i had a few uh split because i had some really large locks at the very base and the point was to have these locks when they were installed to have these locks put in so that my clothes wouldn't interfere or chafe it but i didn't have any problems with that so those were split so i'm averaging somewhere there around 4 10 4 12 i just tell people 400 locks now sister locks endorses the range of 400 to 450 locks that is the average range for a beautiful set as far as the number of sister locks for a beautiful set ahead of uh, sister locks. Some people are slightly under, some people are over. You have people who have 500 locks, 600 locks, 700 locks. When I got my locks, which was 12 and a half years ago, people found prestige in how many locks that they had on their head. Some people would brag, oh, I'm past the 450 mark, meaning that I have so much hair and they're so tiny and so small, it's like loose flowing hair and all this other type of stuff. You want your hair to look like locks. That is the point of having locks. Side note, I was in the parking lot one time. This was in, uh, oh, this is way back when I, uh, probably like a year or two into me having my locks. And I saw this woman and her hair was loose and flowing and it was beautiful. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's nice, but something looks a little different or off about it. So as I approached her, I realized she had sister locks, but they were micros. She looked like she had loose flowing hair. Now, a lot of people back then who had micros have combined their locks over the years because there's a lot that goes into determining how many locks you will have. And these are the density of your hair, the shape of the hairline. Also, your pocket book. When you have a lot, a lot, a lot of locks, the install is long and even the retightening is longer than average. So you have to pay for this upkeep. Also, the smaller, the finer your locks get, the more often you will have to retighten them, the sooner you will have to get in that consultant's chair. So these things count. Now, density is a very important part, also curl pattern, but strongly, I'm going to emphasize density. I'm going to throw out some arbitrary numbers here. Now, let's say per square inch in the back, because side note, I got to go back for it. Not everybody has the same density on their scalp and not everybody has the same density on their own scalp. For me, up front here is dense. As you get to the side, it is less dense, less hair follicles per square inch, a lot more follicles per square inch less follicles per square inch in the back of my head. You may have, some people out there have plenty hair follicles per square inch in the front and plenty hair follicles per square inch in the back. Now, going back to per square inch, you have 20,000 strands per square inch. I have 10,000 strands per square inch. We have the same number of locks your locks are gonna look fuller because you have more hair strands within each lock. My locks are gonna look thinner because I have the less, I have the less amount of hair strands per square, I mean, per lock, okay? Now, not only that, what determines how many locks you walk out, walk out with also is how many hair strands is in that hair lock that can actually support the lock. If you have that many, let's say you're 20,000 strands per square inch, when your locks are put in, right, 
your your base may be smaller the little squares on your scalp may be so smaller because you will have enough hairs to stand up to hold up in that lock to support that lock whereas me my base will be a lot larger my base the little square at the that the base that you see that the squares on person's scalp mines will be a lot larger than yours because I need more hair strands to support that lock and I don't have that many hair strands per in per square inch in that area so do you see how all these things factor in also what factors in is how my hair is going to respond the curl pattern within the lock so many different things so that's why you go to your consultant, you get your consultation, they look through your scalp, your hair, and they look at the pattern, and they look at the density, and they factor in what you are aiming for as far as time and money, and they will come up, well, you and they, them, her, he, will come up with the best solution for you. And that will basically de determine how many locks you end up having on your head remember that's the average 400 to 450 some people slightly less some people a lot more it all depends on what you're working with and what you are aiming for all right now my hairstyle because the next tutorial will be this I have my hair swooped to the side I have a braid swinging around there's a bun in the back and it cascades down there's another second braid and here is the ponytail that's for the next hair tutorial I'm into like these romantic braid hairstyles I love uh, Game of Thrones and spring is coming and I just like these the, these type of braided looks okay now for those of you who are interested in starting your sister lock journey with me I have contact information in the description box and also at the end of this video. In finding value, please subscribe and thank you to my subscribers who have already subscribed and also give me a thumbs up, give me a like. All right guys, and always remember to trust your beauty and own it. Peace.